again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, and this is part two. I have been having too much fun with what started out as ring pours. I had some paint to use up, and I did pretty well using most of it up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I hate wasting paint, and I have some pretty cool stuff going on. It feels very like a garden to me. I have some paint bottles, some smaller ones that I'm using up, so that's making me happy that they're getting used up. And I'm having fun with the colors I'm using. I'm using some chain. I'm spiraling th some things out with bamboo skewers. I'm adding paint from squeeze bottles wherever I may. Sometimes I'm happy with it. Sometimes not as much. I'm very close to being as happy as I need to be with this, I think. I'm going to be working for a while after you guys are gone to finish my edges. Now that I'm here again and I have a few minutes, I can take time to look at what I've got and see if I want to uh, add anything to that. I hope that I can keep the continuity going because I'm pretty happy with what I've got happening. I'm surprised. It's, it is. It's a surprise. So many times it's a surprise. You don't have to give up on something just because it's a, whoops, good catch, uh, a little scary. You can pleasantly surprise yourself all kinds of times if you just decide to go and push through and let your inner muse have a, have a say. I like a good waggle myself. I don't want to destroy too many pretty patterns along the way. Sometimes I have to take the paint off my skewer to get it to behave. That was one of those things, one of those times. You can almost always put a skewer in and pull it out and create some little patterns. I like this over here, but I want some more of it, I think. That's a combination of a chain, chain pull and squeeze bottles. I'm going to dip my skewer in and lead that paint right down over the edge. Edges are looking pretty good where I can see them. I'm trying to decide if there's anything else I feel like I have to do. I have not torched. That's... I probably torched a little bit earlier, but not enough. I am basically just following my instincts. And I feel like I have far more balance at this point than I deserve. I can't even believe it is... Uh, turning out as well as it is turning out, and I really like it a lot. It's not like anything else, which is also good for me. I really do like that about this. I'm going to grab my white paint and touch up an edge, and all the time I'm talking to you, I'm just basically thinking about what what's calling me, if anything. dump the last of my paint over. My edges have enough paint falling down so that I can cover them, which is a miracle in itself. But I do have paint in the bottom of my container, which will also do the same thing. You wouldn't think so, but it does, and it sells nicely. And sometimes you can just bring some of it right up over the edge. But, um, wow. Okay. I'm not sure how much further I would really want to go without it feeling like more of a risk than I was willing to take. But we already know we can't trust me. So I'm going to throw that yellow spiral down there. And what else am I going to do? I'm kind of upside down now from where I was at a little while ago. I'm going to go back to where I was at. 
I like that yellow spiral, but I'm going to need something else up, up in this corner to compete with it. Yeah, perfect. Like that. I don't know, compete might be the wrong word. I'm going to try and fall a little short of my mark so that when I drag my lines, I can fill the space without eradicating the other lines of things that are close by. That's kind of cool. Yes, I do. I want a dot. I'm going to put some paint right on my skewer and hope that I can get away with that. <laughs> I've got some orange and I might want to throw some of that around here too. Whoops. Almost. Yep, a few dots isn't, aren't going to kill me. Probably not as many as I would usually indulge in. I'm loving those chain marks. I'd kind of like some purple, but um. I'd always like some purple, so that does not come as a big shock to anybody who's used to seeing me paint. Talk is cheap. I'm doing a lot of talking and not a lot of painting because I'm really studying this thing to see what I like, and I like a lot of it. There's the purple I'm looking for. I'm going to take a chance and hit that spiral again. There's the purple. I said there's the purple. I don't like that. Shoot. Okay, well. If in doubt, pull it out. That's better. Yep, yeah, I think I'm done. I'm going to torch. Uh, I say that, and then I see that over here, which looks suspiciously like a little bit of canvas that I don't want showing. Cool. I will use GAC 800 in all of my paints to prevent the paint from cracking when it dries when I'm using heavy layers, heavy thickness of paint. I recommend it. I also have my paint pouring recipe below the video in the description. That was a mistake. I use Floetrol and Decor pouring medium more often than not, most times recently. Just going to touch up my little yellow line. Spiral at the end. Move my green. Call it good. I know I'm going to continue to see things that I'm going to want to fix. Retorch to release the bubbles in the paint from when I shake it. And also torch to release patterns in the paint that the pouring mediums seem to encourage. Especially Floetrol and especially Decor pouring medium. I do not use any silicone in my paint, in my artworks. I do not like to clean silicone off of things. So therefore, I save myself the trouble. I want a spiral right there. And I hope it'll stay. But if it won't, I'll fake it. Yep, I'm happy with that. And I've got some black. And that's some heavy paint, so I don't mind letting it move around a little bit. I'm going to go back to torching, and I'm going to tell you guys, if you want to help me out, 
buying stuff from Teespring right under the video is my stuff. Um, under show more, if you click show more under the video, you can find the Amazon link where I sell stuff like, wait, wait for it, my Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula is very handy to have, my OXO omelet turning spatula. If you ever need a link, just ask for one. The uh, gold mica powder is there. You can ask me any questions you want ever. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, whenever I can, when I have time. The book called Because I Can is the first hundred videos from YouTube and my tools and my processes and has got good reviews so far. People seem to appreciate it and they're having fun reading it and following the links. Um, I said my paint pouring recipe was in the description. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. If you're interested in contributing to help the studio keep going, and thank you to those who have in the past, there is always a contest running that will um, allow you a choice of one of three paintings if you should happen to be the lucky winner. I've got stuff I said I wanted to do on the edge and I have not done it, but I have the paint to do it. So I'm going to talk to you and fix my edge, assuming that I can read or remember is more like it. <laughs> So at the bottom of the description underneath the video, as I have told you repeatedly, um, unless you're here for the first time, there are Facebook albums of YouTube wet and dry artworks. And there's a Pinterest link for all my boards. And it shows a lot of products of, that I've used my artwork on, at Pinterest, on my Pinterest boards. And I have an Instagram link. Oh, I love that color. That color will look really good right there where it's going on my finger and onto the edge of the painting. Yes, I am pleasantly surprised again by my ability to pull rabbits out of my hat. And, and even if it's only, even if it's 40 minutes, it's okay. Um, it's still a pleasant surprise for me. I do like this purple here. I do want a little bit more. I want more drama there. And I have the flat end. In the last 20 seconds of the video, you will find some end screens that will share my actual website link, should you be interested, which has an ongoing a current Pinterest, uh, no, Instagram, excuse me. Um, and it will show you the artworks that are in the contest this month on a, um, a video of 18 by 24 inch canvas ex exhibition. I think I've asked you or told you <laughs> my art is for sale. If you have an interest in my artwork, just contact me through YouTube and uh, I'll give you an email and we can have a chat about that. I give lessons at the class. <laughs> I give lessons at the studio. Wow, I just, I'm having a harder and harder time talking and working. But, um, Keep your eye out for the end screen in the last 20 seconds, which is going to be coming right up very quickly. Because <laughs> I think I'm going to call this Finito. It's done. I like it. I'm happy. I will turn it the way I was looking at it so you can see it. And I will see what you can see in a moment. I'll check my list. Oh yeah, on my... Uh, if you find my Facebook pages, you'll find there's a group called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation. And that's where the people who like to watch my videos go to share their artwork. There are also um, Pixels.com and Fine Art America, where I have lots of products. And everything helps me. So if you decide you'd like to help, there are even greeting cards for like four bucks a piece. Everything, whoops. <laughs> Everything helps in the end. And I love you guys very much, and I've already said thank you for all the contributions in the past, and I want to put some dots over there. I wonder if I can get that to come out. Yes, I'm quiet. And if that's terrible, I'll take it away in a minute, but I think it's going to stay. <laughs> yep, I think it's going to stay for sure. one right there. Because I can. Don't forget, that's the name of my book. I told you guys I love you. I'm going to tell you again. I love you. Come again. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. Uh, Priscilla out. Bye.